warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You don't know? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God mm -hmm. damn it. Yeah, he blindsided both he of us. He has no right to issue search warrants we'll without together. my okay. Here. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. Harvey has no reason to enemies. betray us. I just I mean, don't get it. We're funding his Why campaign. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than Honestly, a few we'll find headlines? Out. I'm not going to blame Falcone. That is exactly what I intend to find out. I think it's a red herring. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Well, then keep your distance. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. That's uh, some mark on her eye. So that'd be Catwoman then. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think yeah, we we'll both just introduce welcome ourselves. a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. We have giant hands. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can... Drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Oh, what brings I'd you to take town? That ride. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. Mm. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. What did you lose? Fault. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful well, what is you your got line away of with work? a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah. Stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. So, do we talk about it? Or just sit here quietly? Nice to meet the real you. Hmm. Don't get any ideas. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, 
everyone in this cafe. So you're with Harvey? What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take well, the risk? I'm the good guy. Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. Tell us what it is. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. That's important. It must be important. What's on the drive? I don't know. You don't know what you've stolen. It's not my business to know. My clients don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are. Or what they're moving. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. We'll offer to help. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not going to happen. Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Well, you need to trust me or we're not doing this. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact, he'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Uh -huh. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Okay. Can't see anything here yet. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, something's happened here. Is that not the same, like, stuff on their faces this wasn't as... Uh, a handoff. It was a massacre. Yeah, I think they were in the same outfits that the people at the bank vault at the start were wearing. I'd have to count the pieces. Well, there are police officers oh, as well. Lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. That is... that is disgusting. Nothing left to bury. Uh... Okay. Additional evidence. That body? No. Oh, something... I, I can't move the character, so it's a little bit difficult to actually do any of this, in case you're wondering. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. 
knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Okay. Um, so we can link this with the exploded human uh, remains because that's probably, you know, thing blew up. That's why those remains. Yeah. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Okay, can we move around now? Yeah. The dead mercenary. I've seen these outfits before. Yep. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Okay, so we've got this door that someone broke into. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Well, let's have a look inside, I guess. See if this was the container they were after. Fragment. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. So nothing else in there. So we got canister fragment. We got dead guy. What we got over here some pallets. Hmm. They important. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Okay. A cop who has been shot by the same gun. It's a cop. The force grows wood. thinner every day. Nope. Okay. Unscorched area. So why is this unscorched? Was there something that was sitting right here? Looks like a vehicle, maybe. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Okay. White rose. Okay. White rose. That looks like a calling card. Falcone's calling card. Ah. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to No, know I think everyone. someone's setting him up. Good thinking, sir. As much as I, the people are setting Bruce Wayne up, I think someone's setting him up more. Dead mercenary. Because there's no evidence against some they were saying. So instead they're they're making fake evidence. And they just happened to tie Bruce Wayne in. That could be a way of doing it. I don't know. Anyway, dead mercenary. No. That bad? Ooh, that is a bit gruesome. What's up with his face? It's been clawed off. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Anything else here? Ooh, a pocket. Let's see what's inside. Skylight Club. Ripped up face. Burnt cop. What's up with his head? This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Who what did this? Are we drilling inside his skull? Oh, oh yeah, we are drilling inside his skull. Uh, there, there we go. That same type of sensor bullet as the other side. Around. Ah, phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister, causing the aforementioned boom. Okay, in his hands. Blood, broken nails, bits of human flesh. Did he claw the face? Hmm. We'll cheat, keep looking around, then we'll link him. I think we're gonna link him now. Uh, yeah, with the ripped up face. A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God. 
would cause someone to do that. The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Okay. Um, now, did we have something over here? We had the canister fragment. Can we link that with something in our inventory? The uh, bullet? Uh, do we need to go all the way over here? Be like, head? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that works. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. There's more. Okay. Well, the white rose doesn't mean anything. We've got all of our links there. What are we missing? So we've got this unscorched area that needs to be linked with... Oh, blast epicenter. Maybe. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. All right. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. I'm still not sure he is. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. The sniper still alive. Looks like then. Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Let's grapple up to the shelf then. Targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay, next one. There's the trace. And then out the window. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Well, this is the right spot. So where did he go? I don't think I might have gone out the window, but I guess not. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Not subtle. I ain't telling you, Jack. 
You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Unless you're gonna stay quiet. Just threaten him. Let him think about what's gonna you. happen. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. Gonna go for his ribs. <laughs> Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Please don't! Oh God, no! We'll apply, no. We'll apply some pressure. Stop me. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! I think he's told us everything he knows. I don't think we're gonna break his arm. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! They're gonna need to call the coroner instead. I think we're gonna disappear. This isn't where we talked to Gordon. to the docks. Warehouse 133. He, he tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The bat man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. 